Convicted Boston Marathon bomber Jokar Tsarnaev apologized directly to his victims today for the first time. Tsarnaev was formally sentenced in federal court in Boston. WMUR's Amy Cavino brings us reaction from survivors after hearing his apology. Immediately after the bombing, of which I am guilty of, if there is any lingering doubt, let there be no more. Johar Zarnayev, in his own words, in federal court Wednesday, reaction was strong. He threw in an apology to the survivors that seemed insincere and just thrown in because he was supposed to, and then ended again with Allah talking about leniency, implying that we should now be lenient to him. The Boston bomber invoked his religion often, saying in part, Allah says in the Quran that with every hardship there is relief. I pray for your relief. I ask Allah to have mercy upon me and my brother and my family. Allah knows best those deserving of his mercy. U.S. Attorney Carmen Ortiz was critical of the statement. And he couched his comments in line with Allah and Allah's views, which give it a religious tone. And there was nothing, as you heard Judge O'Toole say in the courtroom, there was nothing about this crime that was Islam associated. Jurors were invited back for sentencing and thanked repeatedly for the sacrifices they made to serve on such a demanding and exhausting case. Judge O'Toole addressed the bomber, citing Shakespeare at times, saying in part, whenever your name is mentioned, your evil doings will be remembered. No one will remember that your teachers were fond of you. You had to forget your own humanity to commit these crimes. Amy Cavino, WMUR. And Sarnayev will likely carry out his death sentence at the U.S. Penitentiary in Terre Haute, Indiana. There are 59 other inmates on federal death row. The U.S. government has only executed three people there since 1976 when the death penalty was reinstated. The defense did request to move Sarnayev's execution to New Hampshire. The Granite State is the only New England state with the death penalty. It was proposed in court today to make it easier for the victims to attend the execution. The judge quickly ruled that out. And while the death penalty is still legal here in New Hampshire, the state has not carried out an execution in almost 80 years, and there is no death chamber or existing facility for executions at the state prison. And, of course, you can find complete coverage of the Boston Marathon bombings and the Sarnayev trial on our website, WMUR.com.